And good morning world, it is about 8.45, 8.50 in the morning, it's the 3rd of March 2016, in um, 6, sorry, it's the 2nd of March even, in 7 days time, in 1 week from now, there is a total eclipse of the sun. When this happens, let's get the mechanics right first of all, it is when the sun and the moon come to the same place in the sky, both by latitude and longitude. It may be coincidence, but the moon is approximately 360 times smaller than the sun, whilst the moon is approximately 360 times closer to the earth than the sun. If this alleged coincidence were not so exact, we would not get eclipses the way we do. There is a point in the horoscope called the North Node. And when the North Node is conjunct or opposite the Sun, then the closer it is to conjunction or opposition, the stronger the eclipse. When there is a new moon or full moon and it is not conjunct or opposite the Sun, eclipses do not happen. The eclipse on next Wednesday morning at 1.54am UK time, will be at 18 degrees and 55 minutes of Pisces. The node at this time will be at 22 degrees zero of Virgo. So this is going to be basically <clears throat> a total eclipse. The period of totality will only last for about three to four minutes. So it's not going to be a really long one as far as eclipses go. It will not be visible in the UK or Western or Central Europe. It will be visible the other side of the world from, the, uh, from Europe. The astrology and the astronomy of the eclipse is clear. At the moment that the Sun and Moon come together opposite the North Node, they are also exactly to within less than two-thirds of one degree. The Sun and Moon will be opposite Jupiter, precisely. They will also, all three of them, Sun, Moon, Jupiter, be squaring Saturn to within two and a half degrees. At the time of the eclipse, Saturn is rising on the horizon in the UK, suggesting that the eclipse will have a much stronger effect upon the country of the United Kingdom and also the people in it. But over the coming few days, I will be looking at the eclipse and particularly which countries it's affecting. I'm not going to do that now. Instead, I'm going to talk briefly about the likely influences of it. Eclipses are generally seen as malefic, at least according to tradition over millennia. I don't necessarily hold with this. Some eclipses are difficult, some eclipses are positive. I don't see this one as too challenging, even with the square to Saturn. I bloody hope not, because I'm going to be on an aeroplane at the time just after the eclipse, going to Bermuda for a, a week to do a week of lecturing and teaching and readings. So uh, I'm going to be in Bermuda between the two eclipses. So I hope that eclipses don't affect air travel as much as they're allegedly supposed to do. Eclipses of the sun. The, the light of the sun will be cut off from the earth. This will happen for two to three minutes, three to four minutes. It will not happen everywhere. It will only happen in a short space of land. Uh, but there will be a place of land where there is no sunshine, even in the middle of the day. And all that will be will be a period of semi-darkness. When the light of the sun is cut off, then the light of the world is disappearing. It is as if the sun gives us heat and light and life. And without it, we wouldn't be here. The sun is the one thing that's guaranteed to keep us alive. When the light of the sun is cut off, even if only for a few minutes, it can induce a lot of um, challenging circumstances in individuals, whether those are human or otherwise. I've been in a total eclipse of the sun. I've seen all the animals lay down. I've seen all the birds um, come out of the sky and just land. I've seen all the sheep and cows gather together in circles and just huddle together for comfort and security. This is what is likely to happen, and it can be replicated in humans as well. This is one of the reasons, because it's dark, why eclipses have such a malefic um, reputation. I don't think it's that truly deserved. Over the coming few days, I'm going to do a number of videos on this eclipse, and 
the partial eclipse of the moon that's coming up on the 23rd of March and have a look at it in detail, both in terms of who it's affecting, what countries it's likely to affect, um, what the likely outcomes are going to be and what we can expect and not expect from it. But there's a total eclipse of the sun in just under seven days from now, 1.54am UK time on the 9th of March. T minus six and a half days and counting. Catch you later, world. Bye.